Hi everyone and welcome to the Lion Tree Group. Today we're going to show you how to set up a real estate listing template using Elementor and Jet Engine. If you would like to learn more about setting up a real estate website using Elementor, please refer to our blog in the comments. Our first step is to set up the gallery. Um, we like to lead with a photo on the listing page. So you'll set up a gallery. We are using the Jet Engine Gallery uh, in order to display our images. It gives you an opportunity to select how many photos you want to show initially. We're going with two, but it's completely up to you how you decide to set this up. Obviously, there you we're going to pull in a standard post title using the standard Elementor post title widget. Next, it all depends on the field, on the meta fields you have selected in your post listing type when you were setting it up in Jet Engine. We obviously have a city and a state, and the city is um, going to be just a heading that's pulling automatically a custom field city, and then you will have the same thing for um, state when a term field is state. You can add additional elements here. You will see that on our city, we're following it up with a comma. We're in advanced settings. We're placing a comma after this word. This all um, basically happens if you select your title widget and go to your dynamic tags, you're going to be able to um, select a meta field and from the list of available fields, you'll see that I have all the agent fields here and all the property fields. So you'll be able to, to select um, a field that you need in this instance, that would be our city, and then you're styling it exactly how you would st style it. So um, that is the setup for pretty much all of the meta fields with the <clears throat> dynamic field, that's a number field like um, the price, we're selecting a meta, meta, meta data field. And obviously this is a price, but this will be formatted as a number. And this area here is really important for you to be able to set up your price because the way this field is formatted, it, it does include a dollar number followed by percentage and S, which then will automatically pull this number here. So if you have a different, um, whether it's a euro or other currency, you will be putting it and formatting into this field format. All of the other elements will follow the same principles where we're using a dynamic field. This really, this setup, whether you're using the dyna dynamic field or just um, using a title field dynamically, it doesn't matter. The results are exactly the same. The dynamic field does give you a little bit more um, abilities as far as formatting it. We're here, we're following it with acres. Here we're adding the word um, county. Here we're adding the word listing. So dynamic terms are excellent to um, tools to style your listing. Next step, obviously you want to include regular post content. We're using a regular po post content widget, just uh, like you would in a regular blog post. This is a listing grid and in a separate video, you can see how we're setting up the agent listing grids and this just pulls the listing grid automatically. Um, we set up uh, a field or relationship between the listings and the agents and you will see how, um, how that works fa farther down the road. Also, we will have uh, for additional features, we will have um, dynamic fields like bedrooms, and bathrooms that we're displaying here, as well as our taxonomies, which for us, a taxonomy is a property type. And you'll see that we're listing them in dynamic terms. We have elements like maps and videos and map embeds, and you will see that these are all um, additional fields that we're creating, which you might not have those instances. But if you have a video, obviously you're just downloading the, um, you're including the video widget and then from here, you're selecting a dynamic custom field, which is your video link that you've created in your post. And that is pretty much how to set up um, a listing in Elementor.